And there we got a shot at the end. Then. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Royce and Bettleman. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out the Hot Wheels 2021 RLC Dotson 240Z. Uh, this is a, the custom 1972 Dotson, that is. Uh, I ordered this, paid for it, and believe it or not, I got it in like one or two days right after paying for it. So pretty crazy. I don't live real far from where they ship these out of here in Pennsylvania. So that was pretty freaking cool. Uh, I don't have connections like Lamley Group or whoever else. So I got to do what you guys do, the same thing, either get them off eBay or hope to uh, pray to some kind of a god that I'm going to uh, be able to score one of these cars. Uh, now they did make... Opposed to the Mangusta, which I just reviewed, and you guys probably watched that. They made 20,000 of those. This one they made 25,000 of. I wasn't quite sure that when I ordered it if it was going to be 20 or 25,000, but this does say 25,000. So, anyway, we're going to try to do this as quick as possible here and as painless as possible. Uh, we will go ahead and crack it open. This was the shipping box, obviously. And that's the fancy box that it comes in pretty freaking cool voila and we have an absolutely stunning stunning piece and i let me put my gloves on for this because this one makes me a little nervous too uh the paint on this thing is the spectra flame is just absolutely um hopefully you guys all were able to order one of these this thing is absolutely mind-boggling uh, attractive let's just say very very cool um, let me go ahead and dismount this I it's a little bulky on the stand here so let me dismount this and we'll be right back all right so here we have it up on the turntable we'll let it do its thing we'll spin around a little bit here and then we'll shut her off and take a gander at it up close and personal this thing is absolutely stunningly beautiful um i'm not a huge jdm fan as you guys already know or figured that out i have a lot of porsche stuff in my collection and a lot of german but i i do love skylines and the older dots and z's I have a place in my heart for them because I had friends growing up. They all had dots and Z's. I had my Scirocco's and rabbits, but we definitely all ran around together. And so I had a buddy who actually had a 71, I believe it was dots and Z that sounded absolutely crazy sick, uh, back when they were really, they weren't really worth anything. And, uh, he had one that was beautiful yellow with the black seats with the rivets this mine you have like an old ford gt40 i think it was all factory like that it's a really cool car had headers on it and everything so i have i do love these cars as well and i'm glad i jumped on this hopefully you guys also were able to score one of these i mean twenty five thousand of them hopefully you had a pretty good chance so let's go ahead here and take a gander at this here got the jeweler's gloves on just because i want to kind of anal about getting fingerprints on some of these but as you can see it's a, a golden yellow and with a black and red stripe very very cool we got a black meatball on the each side with like a red stripe yeah it's got the, the wheels are they, this stripe is silver I couldn't tell it almost looked like white a couple times I was looking there the stripes around the the uh, rim lips there there we go the camera fine focused i think i was talking there for a while and the camera was not focused i think these white gloves threw the camera off so there's a good shot of the back of it uh, i think i might have to retake some of these other shots because it was kind of i don't think my camera was focused quite right it's got a gritty plate on the back which kind of stands out i'm not sure if i like that or not but we got obviously some kind of a sponsorship thing going on there with that and the motor i noticed the valve cover on that says gratty on it and there we got the front isn't that awesome and i love the black mirrors this does have a roll cage on the interior you can kind of see there it's kind of 
I think it's painted silver. Not really sure what's going on there with that, but so there we got a shot of the engine. That pattern, which almost looks like fingerprints on the roof, that's just a my carbon pattern from the uh, my turntable. But isn't this thing wild? Um, I just had an issue trying to get the hood open. I actually could not get the hood open. So I finally got the hood open. I was kind of panicked there for a moment because I thought maybe I damaged something with the hood, which is the last thing I really want to do. Try to get some shots of the interior if I can. It's going to be really hard to see, but it's got yellow centered seats. The roll cage is silver painted and it's kind of taking up a lot of the space in the interior. This is going to be really hard to see, but it's got yellow painted and you can kind of see there the seat centers are painted yellow. It's very difficult to see. The rest is all black and you really can't see what's going on there. So. I apologize for that, but you're really not missing a whole lot. I don't know if you can kind of see there. It's definitely got details inside, but it's hard to see. Uh, the underside, let me get it turned around so we can read it together. That is, that is the underside. Really not a whole lot of detail compared to the uh, Mangusta. had a little more detail, I think, to it was a dated 2017 so it came out with this one in 2018 the custom 240z i just wish we could get i wish i could get some better shots in the interior but it's really really hard to see that i think it's the same wheels actually it's on that mingusta isn't it no, a little, little different can see here on the very back, right there, you can kind of see there's a Datsun logo. Isn't that cool? On the back right there, you can see it on the trunk lid. That's right, right there is a good shot. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. That's awesome. This one is going to be, I think this will end up going down in history, honestly, as I think it's going to be considered one of the more beautiful Hot Wheels of our modern time. Honestly, it's very, very attractive. Gorgeous. Like I said, I really think this this is going to be talked about for a while. I, I think this this particular RLC car. Just because they did such a good job on it. What a cool car. Stunning. And the mirror detail looks great too on there. There you can really get a good look right at that angle. You can see the yellow inserts on the seats. But other than that, everything's black in there, so you're really not missing anything on the dashboard or anything like that. All right, so that's a quick look there at the custom 72 Datsun 240Z RLC, RLC car offered in uh, early, was it July or end of June uh, 2021. Like I said, I paid for it and got it. I think it was like less than two days I got it here, which is pretty crazy. So there you go. I uh, hope you guys like that. If you like this type of video, be sure to give me a like, share, subscribe, all good stuff. If you're not a subscriber, please Remember to try to subscribe, it's free, you can't be free, and hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time. I'll see you guys soon, hopefully you like that, pretty freaking cool, huh? You guys have to let me know down below, what do you like better, this one or the Mangusta? Um, I couldn't review the Chrome 300 SL because I was not able to score that one for whatever reason i was in the checkout line for like six and a half minutes and then it finally told me i was i failed out or whatever and lost out on which made no sense to me um but anyhow uh, anywho anyhow whatever you want to say there you go thanks for watching have a good night now and happy fourth july bye now